Hello team, welcome to another episode of Pristine Paper. Todd here. I wanted to bring you a new product that I recently found in my LCS. Um, I've seen a little bit online. It is the 2022 Leaf in the Game Used Sports. So uh, you get five premium hit cards in the box. Uh, each box comes with like either uh, game used memorabilia or autographs. So uh, nice high-end product. Uh, it was a little discounted from where I got this at the 309. It was about 290. So I felt it was worth giving it a shot. Um, I also recently attended a local card show and found a couple of uh, cards that I ended up adding to the PC, some vintage stuff. Just wanted to kind of share some of those with you. Now, this one is, I only got it because it's an old card and I think it gave me a discount off of all the stuff I bought. Uh, it is a Andy Simonic and it is a 1949 Bowman. So this is going to be the oldest card that I currently have. It's not in good condition in any way, shape or form, but it does have some nice pop to it. Some nice color still retained there. Um, I don't own any 1952 uh, Topps cards until now. Uh, this one looked like it was in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of damage down at the corner there. But outside of that, I mean, the picture's crisp, well-centered, nice-looking card. Um, George Sternweiss. Never heard of him, but uh, it's uh, the old Cleveland Indian team there. Uh, very cool picture. I figured, why not? Um, you know, I don't own any of that caliber, so or any of the 52 tops, so I went, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Uh, I was able to find this. These are 1968 league leaders. So you got Yaz, Killebrew, Frank Robinson on this one. Then the NL leaders, which had Cepeda, uh, Clemente, and Hank Aaron on there. Pretty cool. Not in the, you know, they're not in perfect shape, any of these, but, um, you know, I wanted these cards and went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. This is my birth year, 1976, uh, Tops Nolan Ryan, uh, that I was able to uh, find there so i was very excited to find that one very cool looking card um and then of course we have uh the 1971 hank aaron um again it's not in perfect condition but this is a 1971 hank aaron and i saw it and said i would love to have that card so i bought it uh, a couple more 68s that i saw there went ahead and pulled the trigger uh brooks robinson pretty good shape a little miscut on that right but not bad Overall, uh, we also had the Orlando Cepeda, which uh, was a good-looking card. Um, I like this set a lot, and I don't own any until now. And last but not least, Willie McCovey. Uh, Nice-looking uh, Willie McCovey there. Again, the centering's not perfect, but, you know, for what it is, it's going to sit in my PC as a card that I will cherish for a long time um, and enjoy. So... With that being said, there's a little bit of looks, looksies at what I picked up at the card show. Hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> this new product is a uh, interesting product. I've seen some of it opened, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. If you uh, would bother uh, buying any of this, or if you know you're just like, hey, Leaf is not the way for me. Definitely wouldn't mind seeing that Grippy Jr. right there. There's lots of things that you can pull on these that are just crazy from what I've seen. And, um, you know, it'd be nice to pull something huge. But at the same time, I enjoy some of these products. Lumber Leaf is actually one of my favorite products that I opened last year. Leaf Lumber, I should say. Um, and it's kind of a similar kind of product to this, but that one's all baseball whereas this one is multiple sports. Now, there's not much hiding the cards that are going to come in this. So, um, you know, it is going to be something that is going to be difficult to hide because they kind of come in a couple top loaders from what I've seen. And they are a little different on how they're packaged. So let's see if I got that strip there. Sorry. Again, I see people having a hard time opening these from what I've seen, and I'm going to join the club of hard time opening. But usually you get at least one auto, if not two from what I've seen, so that's interesting. Uh, a couple cases, like I said, you get this first case, which has your um, initial hits in it. All right, there we go. All right, first one 
is the Worm Ring 5 liter, number to 12. So that's 3 out of 12. Rodman, nice. All right. And I have seen some sticking going on this and these. All right. Next card up, we are going to have Joe Montana. It's a Time Worn 2. Joe Montana and Dan Marino on the game use patches there. Pretty cool. Uh, that one is going to be numbered out of 20. There we go. We'll save the auto for the end. I haven't even looked at it. I'm trying not to look at it the best I can. Hopefully I will not look at it. So it's interesting how they come. They are in a couple of little jerseys that are, or little cases that are gym cases, but seem to be a little stuck in there which I guess is good for transport. You just don't want to damage them when you're... Eh, you know what? We're just going to go with this. All right. We've got a Grand Slam 6. Looks like we got Mike, uh, Mike Teixeira, Mark Teixeira. We got Carlos Beltran, Barry Bonds, Gary Carter, Johnny Bench, and Miguel Tejada on that one. Then our next card... It's going to be numbered to 50, which is a Dan Marino. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that guy out of there. Game use patch. Very cool. And last but not least, we have it in the game dual patch. We got Julius Irving, Dr. J, and Allen Iverson on that card. And that one is one out of four, so that's pretty sweet. So we got Dr. J and Allen Iverson, a little game use patch. There's kind of what the back looks like. And there's what the back looks like on that one. Kind of kind of interesting, different set. I figured I'd give it a go. Um, that one was out of 15, so there you go. That one's out of 15. Um, not horrible. I didn't hit the home run, but you know what? That Dr. J and Allen Iverson, also this Joe Montana and Dan Marino. Looks like I got a Dan Marino box. Pretty cool. Um, you know, I think that'll be uh, interesting to see where those go. Like I like that. Um, I like the chances you get. I know you got a chance at a lot of different guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me. I know a quick little video uh, and send you on your way and hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye.